guys, it's Gumwings here, back again with another video. So today's video will be a reaction video. So I'll be reacting to True Creepy Hiking Horror Story Animated. It's by One Wanzi, I think that's how you pronounce it. He's an uprising YouTuber in that. He's an uprising YouTuber. He does like so much animation. Oh my god, he does so much animations on um, horror stories. So yeah. I'm gonna react to one of his videos. So if you have any videos you want me to react to, just comment down below. Have the link with it too so I know which video to react to. And yeah, remember to like subscribe and push that notification button because I don't have a schedule. Let's begin. Oh, that's really starting off creepy. Just hearing like when kids I was laughing. 17, I didn't have a driver's license. Most of the time I walk. Or hitchhike. There was this one night. There weren't that many cars on the road, and it was very cold. And this man pulled over. When the guy pulled over, I, I took a good look at the guy and figured I could take him if he tried anything. He was on the slender side and had a strange frailness about him, even though he looked healthy enough. I got into the car after we agreed on the destination. We exchanged names and I warmed my fingers up in front of the heating vent. I don't think I would ever hitchhike he spoke though. Quietly, like I would never hitchhike. Along the lines of, was I local and how did I like living there? He said he only been here for a few months, but found it beautiful and hoped he could find happiness there. That comment struck me as a little odd, but I brushed it off. It began to snow and the road quickly got slippery. So he slowed and he kept his eyes straight out the windshield, driving silently. I was okay with that, as small talk was never my forte. About see, 10 see, minutes later, I, don't like small I noticed the car near the intersection we were approaching seemed to be sliding. So like I it's said, starting off out. normal, like they just he know each other and the gas, you know the something sketchy is going to happen to you, just watch. Don't ever scream at me. Needless to uh, say, okay, I was yeah. taken aback. <laughs> like, I just said I that said, this sketchy's gonna happen, and then it really happened. This is That's really, like, a small red flag, though. That's a small red flag. flag. He didn't seem to hear me. So I said, Richard, did you hear me? I said, you can pull over here and let me out. Yeah, here he's catching on, no too. no response. He just stared straight ahead, driving faster now than he did. Okay, when he yeah, you snow. know something's happening now. To say He's I was gone. scared He's... doesn't seem to cover yeah, the depth yeah. of the fear that began to rise in me. You know I didn't know happening. if I should stay quiet or speak, but I was damn sure not going to yell after his outburst. After about a mile, he began to mumble under his breath. I couldn't quite make out He's what he was saying. Be like, okay. But I He's assumed he was speaking gonna to, do me. to you. So I said, "What did you say?" I couldn't hear you. He began to speak quietly and rapidly, saying things like, You're always yelling at me. I've told you time and time again, do not yell at me. He's I on don't drugs. appreciate He's on drugs. He's you. Probably know, on drugs. You don't listen. You don't listen. And I was just sitting there looking at him. He's probably on drugs or something. I was at a complete or, or like, loss. He's going through something I didn't know right what now. to say in Look, response in or his mind if right I should now. say anything at all. I contemplated just jumping out of the car, but next that idea when I realized the door lock was missing. There was just a silver lined hole where it should have been. Does it mean it's I started like to still cry locked or it's, and debate with myself or about it's always causing unlocked. an accident by grabbing the wheel and hoping for the best. When he suddenly looked at me for the first time since I had gotten in the car, what? he blinked several times rapidly, then slowed the car, pulling into a gas station. I waited to see if he unlocked the doors, not wanting to say anything to set him off again. After a minute or two, he quietly said, I think I better let you out of here. And he hit the button to the door locks and he opened the door. I wasn't about to hesitate, so I jumped out of the car as if I were on fire. I was about to turn and walk into the gas station when he called my name. He looked so damn sad and I hesitated. He apologized, said he was sorry if he had frightened me that he never would have harmed me. And he asked if I'd be able to get home okay. I said I would. Yeah, he was on drugs. He was probably on drugs. He was probably on He drugs. began to pull out of the gas station, but stopped suddenly. 
He just sat there for a couple of moments, his head down. I froze, wondering what the hell was up. And was about to run into the gas station, but he opened his window and yelled at me, waving something in his hand, my hat. I left it on his seat. I slowly approached the side of his car and he handed it to me, apologizing again. I didn't know what else to say, so I just said, thanks. How come now I'm getting creepy vibes when it's like, I watched as he like, drove off, I don't know, I, think, sure I feel like the story's like pushing up, but now I'm getting like creepy vibes now. He know which I guess creepy I vibes at the worst time. As I walked, I went to put my hat back on, and a piece of paper fell out of it. Is that money? Folded into a paper was a hundred dollar bill. Ooh. The paper said, I'm sorry. Please take a cab and don't hitchhike anymore tonight. I didn't. In fact, it was the last time I ever hitchhiked in my life. Will never, ever do that again. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I feel like the guy was on drugs though. Like, to me, I feel like he was probably on drugs or going through like a psychotic phase. And he was not going through any of those things. The next best possibility is he was probably like, trying to teach a lesson. And if he and if he was actually normal and he was trying to teach a lesson, he's a good actor. Like you're just sitting in the car, like you're so hopeless, and then like, then like someone's going crazy. Like you're st okay, pretend you're stuck on a train. Like you're stuck in, a yeah, you're stuck on a train. You can't get out, and then someone's going crazy and mumbling words that could possibly hurt you. So it's basically that. I don't know any way to explain it. Like he could have been on drugs, or he could have been, you know. He could have been on drugs or he could he could have been to a psychotic phase. Or both. But I think that's gonna be it for today you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to check out Wansi's um just check out all his videos and like and subscribe to this channel too. Hit that post link, hit that post notification button because I don't have a schedule. Alright, see you guys later. Peace.